All right, so um, let's go ahead and uh, try that again. Um, this is take two. Uh, what we're working on here is the passenger section, and uh, what I've done here so far is sketch the outside rectangle and make a sketch plane on the XZ plane on this third part. And I've sketched a circle, a rectangle, and a triangle. And the hard part now is the star. And I'm actually gonna I, I'm gonna try a slightly different strategy from my first take, and I'm going to make the uh, make the star a little bit differently and see if I can get it to work. So I'm going to start by uh, picking a center here and I don't want to constrain it to any other point on here if I can help it. Alright, that's good. That's what I want. Okay. So let's go ahead and dimension that circle. Diameter of this circle is 0.605. I'm also going to locate the center of the circle on here, 0.363, and then I'm going to locate the um, oops, I'm going to locate the horizontal distance at 0.488. Okay. All right. So I've got the circle now. Now what I got to do, and this is the tricky part here of this uh, particular uh, piece, is that I've got to make a star, and the star itself has to be. Um, has to be located, and it's helpful to use the uh, it's helpful to use the location on the drawing on the drawing packet on the first page. So I'm actually going to use that as my guide. So I'm going to first start by making an inscribed polygon. So I'm gonna, in this case, I'm going to be making an inscribed pentagon, and I use the center of the circle, and I'm going to make it so it's tangent to the circle. But I'm also going to make it so that you see how I got to get a little horizontal orientation to it. Okay, and that's going to help me later because when I locate the uh, spot in the star, oops, actually I want to do it the other way, uh, try again. Uh, I want to make it so that the um, vertical point here down at the bottom, that's what I want. Okay, so I did that right. Okay, so this should work now. And the third thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to make a circle, but I don't want to make it constrained to any of the other points on here. I just kind of want to make it in here, okay, and then later I'll come in and right now I should say, and dimension that diameter, uh, which on the other drawing is 0 0.412. But what I actually recommend is rather than dimensioning that as a fixed size, I actually recommend not using it and drawing the star uh, from this. So the circle size doesn't matter too much. We can go back and constrain later uh, what that's going to look like. So we'll go ahead and now we're going to sketch the outline of the star. We're going to use 10 lines to do it. Okay. And to do that, we're just going to basically do a series of lines around the perimeter, connecting a vertex of the pentagon to a point that's on the circle, and then making sure that we're using the same point each time. Okay, and then we want to look for the, to make sure we do that. We look for the green dot um, when we're looking in here. So we go to here, and then there we go. Okay, and then we're going to go from here to there, and we're going to go from there to there. And then we're going to go from here to circle, and from here to here. Okay, so we kind of got an outline of the star. And what we're going to then now do is we're going to set the uh, dimensions on here to be uh, to work out nicely. And then the other thing we can do here is we can actually set one of these lines to be vertical. And I recommend using this line as, as the drawing gives us dimension for that line. So we're going to set a vertical constraint for this line right here. And then it's okay that the other things change. That's no problem. We can go in and fix it later. And the vertical line here is supposed to be 0.187 based on the drawing. Okay, one more thing to do. And that's to make all of these lines be the same distance. 0.187 is the length for all the segments on the star. So to accomplish that, remember we can use the equal constraint. And if we go around basically and click equal on successive, oops, on successive sides, we can then end up with a star. And some of the points are already going to equalize. And the reason why they equalize is because uh, segments that are tangent to a circle and then to a vertex are actually going to be equidistant because we started with an equilateral polygon in the first place. So we only have to do a handful of constraints. And we can always double check if we really wanted to that each one works out to be 0.187. We don't have to place those dimensions, however. So really, you only need four total equal constraints. You need one here. And let me just show those constraints to you uh, now so you can see. Um, you see how we all, all these constraints right here? We have five equal constraints to this vertical line. And we got one, two, three, four, five spots where you also have an equal sign. And that, if you do, that means you've done it correctly. 
Okay, so let's hide all those constraints. And we can do that anytime we have constraints uh, displayed. If you want to hide them all, just right click any of them and select hide all constraints, and then we'll get them all away. The last thing we're going to do here is we're going to turn all of these extraneous parts into construction lines. And to do that, we're just going to hit escape and make sure we're not selected in any mode. And we right click the part, in this case the circle, and we just got to select construction. And it will outline that it'll still be here, but the outline will be there instead of the uh, feature. And we want to keep the star. We want to make everything else construction. Okay. And uh, it will ask us to make this. We can actually tr almost trim out the, the uh, polygon itself, but I'm just going to leave it on here. And I have to kind of go around and make sure. Okay, so there you go. There's our star. So the star itself is done. The next thing we have to do is we have to position all of the other polygons in the correct spots, both with sizes and dimensions. So I'm going to go ahead and do the circle first, 0.58. The size of that is 0.58. And then we're going to locate the horizontal distance between them, and that is 0.05. And then we're also going to locate the uh, vertical distance between them. And that is, uh, whoops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the side length. Get that out of there. Dimension here to here. And you can see how that tangent symbol showed up uh, to indicate that we were looking for a, di uh, a dimension that was tangent to the circle. OK, so the circle is placed. Bless you in the background. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with the rectangle. We're going to size it first. And even if it kind of stretches out to be off the diagram, don't worry too much about that. Um, and it's also 0.58, so we actually, rather than the dimension, I'm just going to use a series of equal constraints to do that. Okay, whoops, I forgot to delete that dimension, so let's try that again. Okay, All right. okay so um, we made the square, and now we're going to go ahead and locate now the position of the square. And we're going to go to 0.05 on that side. And then it is 0.2 on the left. Okay, so that works. And then now we got to do is we got to do this triangle. So position the triangle here, depending on how you go about making this particular triangle, which, you know, um, now that I kind of go back here, I'm actually going to use the polygon tool instead. I think that will be easier for you. So to do that, you just go to polygon, type in three, and then if you click a point on here again, make sure it's not constrained, and then just make it so that we get a vertical line. That's a triangle. Okay. So let's make that now. And then it also will give us a center point. If we ever have dimensions to that point, it will be very helpful. All right, so we locate that. And then we're going to locate the corner here from the side. And that is 0.2 away. And then vertically, it is 0.05 away. OK, what did I do wrong there? Uh, let's constrain the side here to be vertical. Fix that. Anytime it gets tilted like that, you can always use a vertical constraint to make sure that it's perfectly aligned. Okay. And the last thing we want to do, it is equilateral. Just want to show you. If I try to apply an equal constraint, it says over constraint, so it's not necessary. When you use the polygon tool, it automatically defaults to regular polygons, which is very helpful. Okay. One more thing to do on the sketch mode, and we got to do some fillets. And the fillets are 0.2 in radius. And oops, I closed it by accident, 0.2 in radius. And we're going to go click the side and the side and the side and the side all right our fillets are done and I'm just gonna look over the sketch make sure I've got everything I need pretty sure I've located all the parts and I'm good to go so I'll finish the sketch the sketch obviously for this part is the one that takes the longest so next thing we're gonna do is we'll extrude and we're going to be extruding the outside edges here. And notice that when we made that construction, that was helpful because now it just extrudes the star part. But if I kept those as regular lines, I would have to select those features individually. OK, so uh, we want to extrude it. And it says here in the drawing that the uh, extrusion itself is approximately, uh, I'm looking at the guide here, and it says we're going to be making the extrusion at point 0.3. And you can see the isometric sketch shows you how deep it's going to be. So we want to make it 0.3 inches in depth. And then we make that extrusion and we get that part. Okay. The next thing we have to do is we have to shell it. So I'm going to go to the bottom. And we're going to hit the shell tool. 
and the shell thickness is 0.01 inches. So 0.01, careful that you put the right decimal point in. And then we're going to select this profile right here. And it will shell out the bottom. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Okay. Uh, there's no further. Okay, the only thing that we could uh, do now is just change the material. And we can do that just by going to material. And let's pick a green tool. Let's see. Let's see what we got that's green. We can go auto glass mirror. That's cool. We'll do that. Okay. And there we go. All right, and that's the passenger base.